Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rockets Pines TV. I'm Valencia Anderson. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Wednesday, March 9th, 2022. Scholars, let's get ready for our Brain Break segment. And take a big deep breath, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. As you breathe in, a sense of taking in fresh air, the lungs expanding. As you breathe out, a sense of letting go of any stress in the body, in the mind. Now let's go to Word of the Day. Hey, Randy. Oh, I didn't know you were going to be wearing that shirt today. Oh, yeah, it was a last-minute decision. Oh, look, we're wearing the same shirts. Oh, um, I guess we are. Well, this was fortuitous. What does fortuitous mean? Fortuitous means unexpected or by accident. Oh, I guess we'll be twins. See you tomorrow on Word, Word of the, the Day. Day. I sure do love learning new words. It's a great way to expand your vocabulary. That's good to for today's sports highlights. Thanks, Valencia. Sports fans, trailblazing rock climber Sasha DeJulian was told that little girls don't belong in climbing. Luckily for her, she likes proving people wrong. She started climbing at only seven and is now one of the sport's most famous faces. If anything, she used those who were against her as motivation. Sasha has traveled the world and completed over 30 first female ascents. She has led all female climbing teams all over the world and wants to be a role model for young girls looking to explore the outdoors and plans to continue climbing her way to the top. She sure does rock. Now let's go to Sonia for the lunch report. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch is crispy chicken patty, hamburger bun, broccoli, diced peaches, barbecue sauce, and your choice of milk. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit! Let's go! Back to Valencia! Thank you, Sonia. That sounds yummy. The Glow Party is on March 16th. To go, you need 25 past lessons in reading and math already. The due date is this Friday, so make sure to get your lessons in. Let's get our glow on. Patriots, the hero store is open. Get there by 7.15 a.m. to avoid the lines. Patriots, join me in congratulating our boys' baseball team. Here is the roster. Congratulations! Let's go! Now let's see what the weather is going to look like today with David. Thank you, Valencia. Hey, Patriots. It looks like another warm day with a temperature of 80 degrees Fahrenheit with sunny skies ahead. In other weather news, a 130-year-old shipwreck was found in Lake Superior. The Atlanta ship sank in 1891 because of a storm. The shipwreck lay 650 feet below surface and surprisingly was very well preserved. This was an amazing discovery that will now be displayed as a historical artifact. Now let's go to Vani for Patriots on the Go. Good morning Patriots, welcome to Patriot on the Go. I'm your host, Vani. Now to your Patriots responses to our new question which is, if you could add one new room to your house, what would it be? Now to those responses. How would you like to be interviewed? Yes. I have a question for you. If you could add one room to your house, what would it be? An indoor pool. But why is that? For I, for I can swim. So you can swim? You like swimming? Yes. Cool. Okay. If you could add one room to your house, what would it be? A pet room. A pet room? And why is that? Because I love dogs. You love dogs? So do I. Well, I have a question for you. If you had to add one room to your house, what would it be? A game room. 
And why is that? Because my house is kind of boring and I need some fun. Some spice. If you had to add one room to your house, what would it be? A movie theater. And why is that? Because movies are too expensive and if you just have one at your house, it's just better. How would you like to be interviewed? Yes. Well, I have a question for you. If you could add one room to your house, what would it be? It would definitely be um, a game room. Oh, cool, because you like to play video games? Yes. Oh, uh, I can see. Okay, well, thank you. If you could add one new room to your house, what would it be? A music room. And why is that? I like to sing and listen to music in a certain room every single day. Oh, cool. So you like singing, dancing, listening to music? Yes. What's your favorite type of music? Well, I usually like to listen to love songs. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, thank you. How would you like to be interviewed? Yeah, if I would. Well, I have a question for you. If you could add one room to your house, what would it be? It would be a relaxing room because I don't have a lot of enjoyment at my house. Uh, well, I think all I have is a, a TV and an iPad. Oh, so you would want like a huge screen yeah. and like toys. And yeah. Stuff. Okay, cool. Well, thank you. Thank you, Patriots, for all your interesting responses and answers to the question. If you could add one new room to your house, what would it be? Thank you, Vonnie. I actually don't know what room I would add to my house. Today's birthday girl is Brielle Carbon. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Valencia. Thank you, Destiny. Patriots, here your Pat's Expectations represents. Present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for yesterday's trivia winners, congrats to Miss Santori, Miss Velez, Miss Stone, Miss Only, and Miss Brohante. You all had the correct answer to yesterday's trivia question, which was, what does space sound like? The correct answer is, space is silent. Now teachers and scholars, here's today's trivia question. Google, Chrome, Safari, Firefox, and Explore are different types of what? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your spots to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a wonderful Wednesday, and don't forget, this year we are all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day!